What is up guys, it's me Scup11 here, welcome back to another video. Now in this video guys, I'm going to be showing you guys my new project that I'm working on so far, right now, and it's Butlin's Skegness in Minecraft. So if you guys have ever been to Skegness, you, you can't wait to get back to Butlin's, you can come on Minecraft and play it, and just explore the, what I have built so far. So soon I will be doing an update, like putting a world up for update, when I've got a bit more built in the meantime. But until then, I will be doing videos. So over here, we I haven't done the signs yet on either side. And then I've got to move this path a little bit as well. I don't think it's in the right place. So I'm going to push it back a bit more or a bit forward. So here we have the security guard's um, office. And then we have the middle entrance bit where you go around the roundabout. And there's a Billy Bear statue just right there. I haven't done that yet because obviously Billy Bear is a bit hard to make. So here is the diner like the one of the dining bits where you get your food and then red is on top as well um so yeah that is all i've done so far of that i haven't done much i've just been trying to do the layout of the buildings and stuff and the roads so yeah i haven't done much too much at the front here so here's the fee uh theme park i meant um fun fair <laughs> i didn't mean theme park i meant fun fair so i've done the go-kart track at the moment because obviously the fun fair has been changed and I haven't been since it's been changed, so I don't know what it really looks like. So I'm going to have to watch videos and stuff like that and find out what that actually looks like. So I've done the go-kart track because I know the go-kart track is still there in the same exact place. So I've done that. And then obviously the carousel looks like it's in the wrong section in this map, but hey-ho, we'll go with that. So over here we have your check-in area over here. So you could just come in here and check in and then talk to the people to get your keys and then you yeah so that's what's inside of there at the moment i haven't built nothing inside here yet I'll, I'll probably just put like a little chair or something so this is all like the map layout of like where your car park is and then this building i don't actually know what this building is i believe it's for when you come on coaches and stuff and you can uh sorry check in from there so you could check in from this location but i don't actually know what's inside i've never been inside the whole entire time i've been in butlands never been in there because obviously i don't need to go in there so i never actually went in there so yeah this is all the car park literally just here um it's starting to look beautiful already uh so yeah the trees are the green bits around the edges of the map and then the beach is the yellow so i've got to put all the trees and stuff in so over there is a cloned house that i've been cloning to change the colors of the chalets up at the fairground apartments so yeah, this is the green fairground apartments. Look at this, they're beautiful. And then there's the yellow apartments, which I believe is she 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 see sure. I couldn't even say it then. So yeah, let's have a let's take a look at one of the apartment buildings. So this is one chalet just here. So let's just have a look upstairs. So we've got upstairs, because the upstairs and the bottom downstairs are the same anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So this is your like upstairs section of the chalet it's the exact same as downstairs it's got your bed in it and then you should have a bathroom which is lovely here look at this little bathroom with a bath with a toilet and a sink and then you come into your main kitchen area and then your living room area and then you can obviously look out into the garden section which is in the middle there look like that look at that beautiful isn't it so let's check the loft like the loft apartment so it's like in the seat like in the roof apartments so let's go upstairs it's it's basically the same it's just a different layout of it so on top obviously i have to do this and it's a lot smaller up at the top for your views and stuff like that but i made it fit into the section that i needed it to go in so it's, it's basically the same it's just a little bit of different tweaks and this one's actually got a wardrobe type where you can hang your clothes up that's the only difference between the two so it's literally nothing much difference to the other two of which are below so yeah that that's that chalet i think i've done well with that to be fair it looks beautiful on the outside and then i just cloned it all the way across until the section was done um, I, I don't know what kind of stairs I'm going for. That one or the other one that we just went up a little while ago. Probably the other one that we just went up a little while ago. I just put it there so then I know 
where it is and then we can sort that out and then, yeah i couldn't fit every single chalet in because for some reason the butlands map was a bit smaller than usual so i couldn't fit it all in so if you're missing a bit of a few chalets that's why but i've tried my best to put as many chalets as i can in each section so yeah this is the yellow section it's not officially done yet i'm still working on it it's basically the same as the green one with the same layout with your living room and that exactly the same it's just because it's got a yellow bricks like the yellow paint all the way around it for the different chalet colors that's that is literally all that is different so yeah there we go so that is basically the same it's just a different color just to make the chalets look a bit different to the other sections so yeah obviously guys you know that there's a a building in, in the roof yet yeah, i left just left it there i just literally cloned it and then copied it over and put the roof back up so no one else can go upstairs so yeah i, thought, I don't know why i really showed you that i should have really showed you that but i did it's just a little cool little hidden bit so yeah i've still got to do all the detailing um i co i copied the map from the butlands app into minecraft so that's why you've got all the weird block textures and that all over the floor so it does actually tell me where everything goes i've just got to try and fit it in that section and if i don't then i just have to tweak it a little bit to make it actually fit into the sections so here is where the sky park is now that is basically where the sky park is but for some reason it's a tennis court on the map still for some odd reason when i downloaded it Right, so let's go and show you this chalet then. So this chalet here is right next to, obviously now, the Sky Park. So this is totally different. It's just a one bed bedroom with a bathroom. Obviously, I forgot to put the lights in, so I was just quickly putting some lights in. I put the lights in the bathroom, but not in the, in the actual bedroom itself. So, yeah, this is totally different to the chalets. It's just a one-story building, so yeah that's quite cool i didn't know why it's just it's only chalet on its own in this section and then obviously you've got the sky park in between and then you've got the chalets that are one story behind that as well so over here we have the rest as uh, a restaurant but i can't remember the name i believe they changed it not long ago and then we've got the arcade for like next to the fun fair but obviously, I only know a certain section of the arcade is actually in it now. Oh, no, that... Oh, I know. That ain't the uh, restaurant. I know what it was. That is the arcade. So that all section there is the arcade. I don't know why I said restaurant. I was looking at the wrong bit. But, yeah, the restaurant's just a bit further up here. So, yeah. So that is the building for, like, where the shops are. And then oh, you've got all your little one block chalets just here and then obviously we've got here's the restaurant see i knew that oh it's like restaurant slash bar isn't it so that's what it is i forgot i haven't been to butlins in ages but yeah i'm trying to remember everything <laughs> so over here obviously we've got loads of stuff already built hopefully i want to build it all the way up to the skyline and then where the skyline cuts off i will put an update out for you guys so you've got the golf course and you've got the high ropes course and the football little pitch there and the beach. You've got all that section there. That's where Studio 36 is, but it isn't on the map for some odd reason. I don't think the skyline on here is actually big enough for me to build the whole thing. So I'm going to have to try and look at that. If not, I'm going to have to cut the map off and then re-put it back on a lot bigger. So yeah, there we go. So we've got the uh, water park, like the swimming pool. Here we've got the indoor bit. It looks like it's cloned the indoor section so I can see what's inside. So it make the layout a lot easier for me instead of just cloning the roof, which is good. We've got the outdoor section, which is here. We've got the slides, which is going to be cool. I like the outdoor section. That looks, it's got, hopefully it's going to be cool. There we go. We've got the outdoor pool. We've got the sun and moon, but it's not actually called sun and moon anymore, I believe. And then over here we have the... Um, red coats chalets which basically is the chalets but obviously it's not on there for some odd reason on the map so i'm gonna have to build them off by looking at google maps and stuff and see what they actually do look like properly 
for some reason, they don't want to put it in their map. They took it off. And then, obviously, we've got Laser Quest there. And then we've got all the other, like, is it, like, silver? Yeah, it's, like, silver and gold chalets, is it, I believe? I know these are the gold chalets. I don't know if the other ones there are, like, silver chalets. And then, obviously, you've got bronze chalets and at the back, where, obviously, the fun fair and all that is. And, obviously, you've got all that fun fair and chalets and stuff like that. Yeah, we've even got the pond in here. So I'm going to add all the pond and stuff. I'm going to add every detail. So if you guys actually like to like send photos to me and stuff like that. Just get a message on to me on on YouTube. And I've obviously got my Twitter account on there. So you can even send them to me on my Twitter. Or I do have a TikTok account. So even if you want to try and do it on there or something like that. Just uh, message me on anywhere on, on social media. And I will try my best to update everything as much as possible even put all the little tweaks and special stuff that you guys actually want in the map so there you go guys i hope you guys did enjoy the video um i will try and get the download out as soon as possible so please leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video peace out guys bye